So Hydra here is a Protoss player. Is this a PvP? He's a silver Protoss player with about 50 games this season. This is a PvP. And then Mewtwo, as he hasn't played at all this season or last season. He hasn't played in two seasons. So this is going to be an interesting game to see what Mewtwo does. Yeah, it looks like they're ready to go. So if you want to start it off, we can get our first match of the night underway. And then, do you want to run this match, or do you want me to run the match? Because basically what I can do is I can set the camera to watch your um, mouse movements. It's a PvP, so I think I'll, I'll, think I'll get a crack at it. Okay, we'll give we'll, we'll be, give you the first one, then. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zenokill. I am here with Swargila for match number one between Mewtwo and Hydra, a Protoss versus Protoss on MLG Metalopolis. Oh, I'm lagging like hardcore right now. Oh, me too. There we go. It's, that would be me. That would be my fault. i got to close some applications here. <laughs> yes, stop using up all of your internet. I see that. You're using up too much internet. It's my CPU power, man. My CPU's dying. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Laptop or desktop? Oh, laptop. i got a MacBook Pro. <laughs> that's not even <laughs> a computer. Uh, yeah. I'm going to even get out of TeamSpeak, I think. I'm just going to... Yeah. There we go. We need yeah, more I just, power to the forward processes, Captain. Oh man, I have a really good. I have a MacBook Pro, man. It's it's really good too, but it's you can it's keep old. telling me that, and I can keep sitting here for fifteen minutes waiting for the bar to go across the screen. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's it's. I wish I wish I had a better computer. I would totally start streaming and doing other things. But. You know, I wish I was a baller. I wish I was a little bit taller. <laughs> I wish I had a girl who looked good so I could call her. I can't wait to watch these VODs. <laughs> oh, yes. Just Doing to hear that, that, that rap. Zenakilla the rap star. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, so I'm watching you, so I'll call the ball. Alright, well, here we go. In the 6, uh, six o'clock position, we have Hydra. The purple Protoss, which is going to be tongue-tying myself all day like that. And then we have the red Protoss, Tom Mewtwo, who hasn't played in two seasons. All right. All right. PvP on this map is um, pretty pretty balanced. It's not going to be like a crazy ramp here or anything like that. It's not like Taldarine where you can forward gate and just get in. Like you, uh, Force fields are important. Um, building placement's important. Um, Colossi are going to be important as well. And already we see Hydra here. There we go. <laughs> there we go. A little, little bit nervous, maybe. Yeah, I noticed, because if you saw Mewtwo's initial pylon placement was next to his base, so probably what he's going to do is he's going to do sort of the standard. You build a pylon, you build either your building whose name I can't remember Gate, currently. Gateway. Gateway. Gateway, yes, the gateway. Build your pylon, you build your gateway, and then you build your gas assimilator, and that sort of blocks off that corner. But it doesn't look like he's gonna do that. It looks like well you could build the cyber core there. So mm -hmm. sort of block the run around. It's very good for uh secondary building placement against Zerg, but it looks like Hydra's just gonna wall off. So that yep. either means he's scared or he's going to do some shenanigans in there and he wants to deny you to the scouting opportunity right away. Uh, walling off is usually a really good deterrent towards a uh, 4-gate play if you're not like particularly fond of being 4-gated, which most Protoss players aren't at this point. You'll see those people on ladder that continue to 4-gate, but it's usually a good... I think it's becoming standard practice now that Protoss players will put that wall at the front. Just to defend see, against the 4-gate? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And here's Mewtwo here scouting his natural for for these pylons. He might actually is he going to see this pylon over here? Uh, oh, I think he might see that pylon. It depends how far he goes. He should. I think he saw it. I think he's going to see it. I don't know. He's no, gonna... no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let me check. Let me check the view. He doesn't see it. No, he saw it. Hit one or two real quick. He must he have didn't... seen it. Nope, nope. He most certainly did not. He's That's... right. He's skirting it. He might see it on the way back. There it goes. He's got it. Oh, and we got a little probe battle going here. Mewtwo tried to hide a probe in the grates, but Hydra's on to that. So wait, did he see the pylon or not? I couldn't quite tell uh, from he, the view. He I certainly seeing. did. The pylon okay, is so now saw in the pylon. So Mewtwo now knows that there's a four gate going on. 
Well, yeah, he sees the proxy pylon, which uh, Hydra might just back out of it with this pylon in the base now, but right. Mewtwo stole the gas here, and Hydra's only uh, mining two two guys from his gas, which which are all signs of a uh, foregate from me. I mean, he's got the save chrono boost, he's chrono boosting the warp gate research, right. he's building that zealot proxy pylon. Every, everything about Hydra right now is screaming foregate. So what do you think Mewtwo's defense against this is going to be? Mm. Um, I think he's just gonna have to foregate himself. You think he's so? got two? He's got two gas here, so I'm. He's, he's probably gonna try. Oh, was that ooh. a Twilight Council? Maybe Twilight like... Council goes down, he, so he might even do DTs. He's really? gotta do DTs. He's probably gonna do a sentry, try to force field this ramp here for a while. Yeah, he definitely and, saw um, that pylon because he's sending a stalker over there to destroy it. Yep. 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 So he's probably going to do DTs. He's going to try and hold this ramp here with sentries, and then he's going to probably DT. Because he's I not like going Hydra's not going to have any defense towards DT since he's doing four gates right here. That is a lot of gates. He's building four gates, and what else is he building back there? Uh, just a pylon. pylon. Okay. Yep, yep. Just a pylon. Just a pylon. Oh, and he scouts, he scouts Mewtwo's proxy pylon. This is, this is some mind games going on here. I like it. I like it. Yeah, that's the Both. thing about Protoss is they'll, they'll put a pile on somewhere else in the middle of the map and they'll just completely tear you up. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I, I don't see Hydra winning with this right now. His uh, his four gate's super going to be late because his pylon got destroyed. Well, it's going to be completely ineffective because there's no pylon out there. And as you exactly. can see, Mewtwo, he's got, he's got the pylon in the middle of the map building. He's got the Zell Naga Tower. And, you know, he's just kind of keeping an eye on things. So even that pylon there, I'm pretty sure, because Mewtwo has the Zelnaga Tower, he sees that pylon building. So he Here's knows the Dark what's Shrine. Coming. Okay, so Mewtwo is definitely Dark templar in. Yep, looks like he's going to three-gate Dark Templar, maybe try to expand afterwards. But I, I think this is going to be the game right here. You think so? Uh, I don't think Hydra is not going to get detection in time unless he throws down a forge like right, right. now. Yeah, he'd have to throw down a forge and then build a cannon. So for him, it'd be a two-step process, or he'd have to build a robo and get an, uh, an mm -hmm. observer. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't look like his tech path. It looks like Hydra picked the four gate and said, "I'm going to stick with this." So right now he's going to put a put a put the put a bit a bit of pressure on. But um, YouTube doesn't have any sentries to block off that ramp, so this could put him in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, this is interesting, because Hydra can take out a lot of workers here. I mean, he he officially can't, like, win with this, because he's got DTs going to warp in. But he can kill a lot of workers here while waiting for those DTs to kill off his army. I don't know. Mewtwo's in a little bit of trouble there. Uh, nope. With that engagement, he's having to pull his probes. He doesn't, in terms of units, all Mewtwo has right now are probes, even if he warps into Dark Templar. Ah, uh, it's just mm -hmm. about to finish. Ooh. Mewtwo's lost about 20 workers so far. Oh, and his DT Shrine? Let's see. He's, oh, he doesn't have Gate Tech yet. Oh, he he's just I don't got think... Warp Gate, and now he's going to be able to Warp in I don't Dark think Templar, he but do you think that's going to be able to win it for him? I don't think so. The correct response here, I think, is, uh, yep, he's going to throw down this Robo. He also needs to block the entrance to his base. He if he can do that, that, he should be just fine. So the Dark Templar are going to town on it, however, Mewtwo... I mean, if you look at the food supply, it's right now 9 to 34. He loses mm -hmm. he loses mm -hmm. his cyber core. He's not doing any mining. Sure, he's able to chase it out and hold his base, but... Mm -hmm. I think I think Hydra is making the correct decision here to stay inside the base and do more damage, because he knows he's technically dead if he lets those DTs inside his own base. Yeah. So I, he's doing... He's doing some pretty good micro here, trying to move and attack, keep those DTs off of him, but he's eventually going to die. And I think his Robo Bay is going to be done in plenty of time here to get him one Observer, and that's going to be game. Yeah. Mewtwo's strategy on this one was sound. He just he didn't have what he needed to hold the ramp. If he could have put up, if he had two sentries and he was able to put up maybe a total of three force fields in a row to completely block off that ramp. That would have given him time to get the Dark Templars finished, and that army wouldn't have stood a chance, and it'd be completely reversed. But right now, as it stands, all Mewtwo has is ten probes and two Dark Templar, and that's not enough to win the game with. Oh, exactly. This Observer is half done right now, and these Dark Templars are going to get right to the ramp when it's done, and they're going to die. And this game is going to be all but over. Oh, there comes the Observer. And he's going to have... 
clear vision. Yep, here's he's got three stalkers. That should be more than enough. Oh, he needs, a, he needs to keep that observer in view. Yep, there goes the stalkers. All right, so now Mewtwo's, uh, Mewtwo's in a lot of trouble right now. He doesn't have the economy. He doesn't have the army. He's 30 down on food, and he has, he has really, in terms of units, all he has is probes. So I think this is going to be very difficult for Mewtwo to recover from it. In fact, if not impossible. Yeah, I, I can't see him winning this at all. He's got to use these CTs, like, so well. And he's just, yep, there he goes. There's a GG. Most unfortunate for Mewtwo. A good showing, though. Uh, legit, uh, a solid strategy, but just not very good in the execution. He needed to hold that ramp, and he just couldn't do it. That was a, it was a kind of a wacky game there for PvP. It was kind of cool to see. So let's go ahead and uh, make the next game here. All right, so let's.